No two students are the same. Who they'll become is influenced by complex factors, none of which guarantee a given outcome. But in her four decades of teaching in the Hickman Mills School District, Linda Hinckley's memory has locked on a common characteristic. I remember them by their smiles. She too went to this school district. I enjoyed my classmates and my teachers. Once seen as a gem of the region's school districts, Hickman Mills student scores and reputation took a precipitous fall, fueled by annexation, dysfunction, and poverty. Its current superintendent, Dennis Carpenter, is leaving to become superintendent of the relatively affluent Lee's Summit School District. His replacement, however, has something special to offer. I'm Yolanda Cargo. I am a product of the Hickman Mill School District. And those complex factors that influence who a student becomes, they weren't all in Cargyle's favor as a child. Student of poverty, and so it was instilled in me and my siblings that we had to perform. We had to seek out uh, opportunities to make a better life for ourselves. And, and so what that was is paying attention in school, getting an education, focusing yourself. Some of her friends went down a similar path. Others veered into trouble. You know, that's the reality of life. And not only among my classmates, if there were different paths taken within my family, there's, there's been different paths taken. And so the reality of life is that people make choices. Cargyle relates to the adage, it's hard to be what you can't see. And I want to be that role model for the students we serve, the 6,300 students we serve in the Hickman Mill School District. How can I share my story as a student, as a product of the Hickman Mill School District? Hickman Mills has much to improve upon. The challenge is daunting, but it's also just two years into an ambitious effort that provides universal free pre-K. The first children to emerge from that program will enter kindergarten in the fall. Several million dollars is being infused into Hickman with the completion of electronic health record provider Cerner's new campus. You can make an educated guess as to whether the district will rise or fall. Linda Hinckley's experience tells her there's hope. I've worked with many, many good teachers here in Hickman Mills. and. Uh, it just, it just everything. It's the whole community. Hinckley also believes strongly in the incoming superintendent. I think she can be a wonderful role model. Her conclusion is based in part on her recollection of a dignified and dedicated girl at Ingalls Elementary in 1982. I knew her as Yolanda Williams. She is now Dr. Yolanda Cargyle, and her smile is the very same. <laughs>